response object variable in invoke policy. This variable is used to store the invoke response. This object stores the body and header details from the response. I will create a new API for this develop option add API. I will choose open API 3.0 new open API. Here I will name it as response object variable API 1. I will keep base path as it is. Next next edit api now i'll add the path for this i'll name this as get details create i'll delete the default path added for this path i'll add the operation i'll add the get operation create the get operation I will pass the parameter id in header create now I will define the type for this schema create for this id I will make it as integer type now I will go to responses in response I will choose content type as application slash json. Now for that I will define the schema create. Now I will name this as customer object type object. It has one or more properties. Now I will go to in gateway and I'll configure the invoke policy here in the invoke you can see the details here response object variable here I will add the variable name any valid name we can give here I'll name it as store response this is the variable name response object variable now whatever the invoke calls the backend API, this target URL that gets stored here in this variable. We can access this variable in subsequent calls if we need that. Now, in the invoke, I'll update the target URL. I'll use this URL, backend URL, get customer. Copy this. Now save. this backend api gives the json response like this whatever id passed it will give the response like this this response is get stored in the response object variable this one here in the store response this details will be stored with the headers header details with the body then we can access this in the next node i will use message template node to check how the data is stored here now this is the message template i'll give i given here store response that i'll access in the message template node here i'll create new json i'll make content type as application slash json here i'll create a new message type Here first I'll write message body message body here we need to define the variable question mark then the data is stored in the store response store response this is the object variable defined in the invoke policy store response dot body you are getting the body from that object and I will write the some headers here you can find out some headers from that backend API this is the headers I'll take some of the headers here content type I'll 
add here I'll make content type enter the value here here double quotes it's in JSON format then here question mark then store response this is the one we have to give here store response dot headers we are getting it from the headers now headers then this content type what you call this is the one you have to give content type I'll add one more header I'll copy paste it and change this values I'll use some other values like cache control this one I am adding now cache control here and I'll add one more one I'll add the date date value I'll get the exact name there date this is the one now we are constructing a JSON with these items message body will get the copied complete message body to this element then this headers content type cache control date values are copied to corresponding elements here now I'll save this and I will create a product to deploy this API or I'll use the existing one I'll go to product here we have invoke policy product I'll use this product currently some APIs are listed here I'll add this API also here response object variable API 1 save now I will publish this product publish to generic space and development catalog now it's published now I'll go to developer portal API products invoke policy product in that we have response object variable API 1 this is the operation get operation on this path get details here it accept ID in header and respond back the JSON message now I'll try this I'm passing the ID here now you can see the response message body contents are response from the backend API and these are the header details content type application slash JSON cache control and date all these details are stored in the store response in the invoke policy so in the invoke policy we defined store response this is a response object variable and from this response object variable we are extracting the value here and assigning it to this new fields message body content type cache control and date the same thing is generated here in this lecture we have seen how to use response object variable in invoke policy